Hello, hello YouTube. This is Bash, bringing you the semifinals for the P Pokemon Showdown League Draft League Season 2.5. And my opponent today will be Easy Bake Oven, coach of the Kentucky Sable Eyes. My team consists of Clefable, Zygarde, fifty percent, Darmanitan, Roserade, Mesprit, Alolan Persian, Mega Lopunny, Zapdos, Blastoise, Registeel, and Smagius. And his team consists of Manaphy, Entei, Milkweed, Heracross, Komala, Claydol, Mega Venusaur, Tornius, Therian, Cobalion, Guzzlord, and Pikachu. Now, I I played this team before, where Mesprit got six kills against his team, but that was against a coach who quit. This the new coach, the Easy Bake or uh, Easy Bake Oven, took over his team, and made a couple of transactions that kind of made it harder for Mesper to to two shot everything, because now he has a Dark type, Guzzlord, and that's pretty difficult to. And although I although I could just cover cover Dazzling Gleam, it prevents me from just spamming Psychic, which two shots everything on his team except for Clay Doll and Guzzlord, and maybe some of Soul Fest users. So, I kind of predict him to bring Manaphy, uh, Manaphy, Tornadus, Entei, Mega Venusaur, Guzzlord, and then maybe the, th the last spot is open between Needle Queen and Heracross. Probably. That's what I'm thinking. So, let's get into my team. So, he brought, uh, I brought Mesprit, Megalopony, Blastoise, Clefable, Zygarde, 50%, and Darmanitan. And he brought Manaphy, Tony Asterian, Entei, Heracross, Mega Venusaur, Cobalion. Now, I didn't think Cobalion was going to come because it really didn't, it really didn't do much against my team unless he was Scarf. And he couldn't really, didn't have really, couldn't be Scarf because if he scarfed into close combat, I have Miss Magius. If he scarfed into Iron Head, I have Blastoise, who just balls it for days, and have Zygarde, which allows Zygarde to just set up for days. Um, yeah, so maybe it's defensive. I can't really tell. But I brought Mesprit, Choice Scarf with U Turn, Psychic, Dazzling Gleam, and Hyper Beam, Mega Lopunny with Fake Out Return, High Jump Kick, and Baton Pass. Blastoise with uh, leftovers with Rapid Spin, Scald, Ice Beam, Aura Spear. Clefable leftovers, which is specially defensive, while Blastoise is physically defensive. Clefable is Moonlight, Toxic, Stealth Rocks, and Moonblast. And Zygarde, my setup option for either mid game or late game, has Life Orb with Dragon Dance, Thousand Arrows, Outrage, and Zion Headbutt. And then Darmanitan, which is Choice Scarf. As well with U turn, Flare Blitz, Earthquake, and Stone Edge. So, my goal for this game was to try to open up this team, like break down those walls with Darmanitan and maybe Mesprit, so that Zykard, Mesprit, or Megalophony can sweep the game. And maybe I'll, I'm gonna, maybe I'll use Zygarde and try to set up mid game to try to poke a hole through his defensive, uh, defensive core of. Mega Venusaur, Cobalion. Yeah. So, I decided to leave Domanitan because <clears throat> I could just U turn out unless he's Choice Scarfed, Entei, Manaphy, or Tornadus, I believe. Or Cobalion, technically, but I'm Luke Hughes going to bring Choice Scarf Cobalion. So, let's, let's start. He leads Heracross, and I leave Domanitan. So, on his team, there has to be one Scarf here because Mega Lopunny and Mesprit just run through his team if there's no Scarf. So it either has to be <clears throat> Heracross, Tornadus, Entei, and maybe Manaphy, but I thought Manaphy was going to be set up. So the way he leads Heracross makes me think he's Scarf, but <clears throat> Domanitan Scarf. And he, Domanitan, outspeeds Heracross even when it's Scarf too. So I decided to just click Flare Blitz because nothing really wants to take it, especially Mega v especially Mega Venusaur before uh, Venusaur before it, it Mega evolves. <clears throat> or really, only switching he's got is Manaphy and maybe Entei, but so as he goes in, and I click Flare Blitz and here comes Manaphy and it does a decent chunk, forty percent, 
that's pretty good. And so I decided to switch out because I need my obvious answer to Manaphy is Clefable because it's unaware, so it doesn't have to do with uh, Manaphy's tail glow option. But he makes a double, and if I just clicked in and click and and click the playlist again, and Venusaur would be dead. <coughs> so he mega evolves and clicks Sludge Bomb, and then knowing that I can live it no matter what, it does it does a little over half. I just click Stealth Box. And I get the leftover recovery. So, so now I switch into Zygarde, predicting the Sludge Bomb again because I resist it, and I just hope for no poison, and I don't get any. So now, here comes the crossroads. I either click Sand Headbutt, predicting the HP Ice, so I could two shot Mega Venus or Sand Headbutt, possibly, or I click Dragon Dance and start and start sending out, hoping that he doesn't have HP Ice, or I could put a huge hole into this team. So. I go for Dragon Dance, and he stays in, and he clicks HP Ice. It almost kills me. So, <clears throat> now, I have to click Outrage or Zen Headbutt, and Outrage does a little bit more, and it, it doesn't, and nothing wants to switch into it, because there's no fairy types. So I just click it. <coughs> just clean 70%. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and... He clicks Gear Drain and gets some recovery back and KOs my Zygarde. So I bring in Mesprit and I know <coughs> nothing wants to switch into this. So he switches into Cobalion and Z or Mesprit two shots this thing. No, he wouldn't be scarfed. I clicked Psych Psychic again and just two shot it. So I switch out of Mesprit. <coughs> And I, I was thinking about maybe going for it, but I didn't want to risk it really. So I switched out of Mesprit into Clefable. And he clicks the Z move. I'm like, wait, what? Z Rain Dance. Oh, yeah. So <clears throat> I bring in Clefable. And I was when I saw the Z move, I thought, oh, Clefable's gone. But he clicks Rain Dance. And all he does is just gain one plus one to speed. And. Now he he just clicks Surf, and I click Moonlight, trying to trying to stall out the rain. But then I remembered that Moonlight only does gives me twenty five percent health in the rain compared to fifty without it. So I know I can't win this stall war. So I just click Moonblast and bring it down to sixteen percent, which allows Mega Lopunny just easily to revenge it. So he just clicks Surf, takes out my Clefable. And I bring in my Megalopony and click Freak Out. So now he brings he brings in Heracross again, and it's screaming Scarf to me. So I switch out to Blastoise, and he clicks Close Combat, and it does pretty decent damage. But I'm scared that this is gonna be guts because this could be a huge problem if it's guts. So I go for Ice Beam. And he goes into Mega Venusaur, and I almost take it out with Ice Beam. Oh, would have been nice. And now it just comes down to who outspeeds. If I outspeed the Mega Venusaur, it's down. If it doesn't, he either kicks Giga Train and destroys me, or he synthesis, clicks synthesis, and gets back to like 55% ish. So he outspeeds me and clicks synthesis, and I stay in and click Ice Beam. Now, predicting another synthesis, I switch out into Darmanitan, which puts so much pressure on his team. He doesn't want to switch. Um, I meant, oh wait, I switch into Mesper on this one. And now, no, he knows that, he probably knows I can't one-shot him from here, but he doesn't want to take damage on the Mega Venusaur because it checks Megalopony pretty well. So, he switches out, and it looks like he sacks off Tornadus. But I question staying in because he could have been Scarfed. Because, as I said, this is one of the possible Scarfs mods he could have brought. So, but then I looked at it, and U-Turn doesn't do that much. It was just worrying about knockoff. But I, I just stay in and click Psychic, and there goes Tornadus. Now he brings in Entei, and this is another part, uh, uh, possible Scarfer. So I switch out to my main check to it, Blastoise. And he clicks Sacred Fire, gets the burn, 
And from that damage, I could tell that it's banded. So, I click, so I decide to click Scala to try to take it out. Wait, no, I, I make the switch. I meant, I make the double, predicting the Mega Venusaur again, and switch into Darmanitan with the Professional Mode, and click Flare Blitz. Does 60%, and he tries to, he's going to try to stall me out with Synthesis, which he doesn't have much left, and I get a crit, and I know, like, he's going to say, like, he was really salty about it, because he says he costs in the game, but really, I don't think it did, because I could just brought Mega Lopini in, because he was at 9%, and just click Fake Out, and if he, even if he didn't, even if he switches out, Venusaur's not going to take any hit, plus Rocks. So, yeah. So, I KO Mega Venusaur, and he's and he switches in Entei, and I'm like, oh well, I know it's banded, so I'm just gonna stay in, cause I sh like, in all honesty, I probably should have switched into Blastoise right now, cause. It just he just goes for extreme speed. He takes out Darmantin, Darmantin. and you'll see why I should have kept Darmantin later. So I go into Blastoise. <clears throat> he clicks extreme speed, and it two shots me. So I just click Skull and just take out Entei. So now he comes down to Mega Lo uh, my three Mons versus his one, and he brings out Heracross. Now he just clicks Mega Horn, and I was kind of questioning why he clicked Mega Horn, and then you'll see in a minute. He gets the Moxie boost, so I'm thinking, oh, I could have just tried to burn this thing all along. And then it's my scarf versus my scarf, and I'm thinking, if he's scarf, he, he can't do, he can't one shot my Megalopony at plus two. So I bring in Mesprit. I bring in Mesprit, and I click Psychic, and he clicks Megahorn and outspeeds me because he's scarf and he gets a plus two, so he's at plus two attack now. And I go to Megalopony, and I know a Megahorn at plus two cannot one shot me unless it's the crit. So I click Fake Out, try to get as much Genesis as I can, and I click. He clicks Megahorn, and I survived at 26%, and I click Return, which takes him out. This is good game to easy bake our room. And now we're in the finals, and we're playing against Matthew, which. Our last time we played, it came down to it came down to a damage roll. After some, I'm not gonna lie, Matt, but like it kind of was it got a little stally at the end. But it came down to a damage roll on. I'm pretty sure it was a damage roll on Megalopony versus Victini because he kind of was getting stally, and my Megalopony kept trying to come in, trying to take out. Victini, but he couldn't because it was it kept going down to like one percent, two percent. It was ridiculous, but we'll see. So, good GG to Easy Bake, and I'll see you next week in the finals. Bash out.